Welcome to Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. And I'm Melissa Delp. Today we're looking at the Scarlet Pimpernel. Scarlet Pimpernel is a 2-6 to six player action selection game from Eagle Griffin Games that plays in about 60 to 90 minutes and it was funded earlier on Kickstarter this year. Now you're going to take on the role of one of the members of the League of the Scarlet Pimpernel and you're trying to help the Scarlet Pimpernel save innocent lives. You're going to go on seven missions and the last one is to Vienna to help save the young prince. Now even though you're sort of working together, there can only be one winner. Let's look at the prototype components. There's the main game board, player boards, tiles, cards, meeples, and tokens. We're going to give a general overview of the game and then give our thoughts at the end. At the beginning of the game, the board is set up with mission cards, building tiles, and location cards. Above the board, you place favor cards on the favor tiles. The Scarlet Pimpernel starts in a randomly drawn city. On your turn, you can do one of three things. Move to an adjacent region, place a cube, or use a building. You can place a cube on many different places, like a route space or location space in your current region, or on one of the five mission spaces. When you take the use a building action, you can place a cube on a building in your region, or if you already have a cube on a building, you can place your cube in the planning area that corresponds to that building. Now this is one of the integral parts of the game. Getting majority in certain planning areas allows you to control the special favors that are available. So if pink has the majority of cubes in the horse planning area, then they would take the stableman tile and then on a later turn, instead of doing a regular action from their player board, then they can choose to activate the stableman and place a cube on a route and use a building. Players continue to take turns until all five mission spaces are filled with cubes. Then players controlling those spaces decide how the missions are resolved. In the first spot, the blue player decides which resource cubes are used to resolve the mission. This could make other players gain control of the favor tiles because the majorities can easily change at this time. Players gain one point for each of their cubes that are used. And if all of the resources are present, the blue player gains a point. The supporter mission space is resolved in the same way. The third mission space awards one point and gives the first player marker to the player who placed their cube there. The player controlling the route mission determines which route the Scarlet Pimpernel takes to reach the mission city. If there is only one route that is completely finished, he has to go that way. But otherwise, it's the player's choice. Players will score a point for each of their cubes along the chosen route. The final mission space awards points to the players with cubes on the mission location. The player who claims this space scores a point if the location is full, and also determines which mission the Scarlet Pimpernel will complete next by placing one mission card above the other. Then the next round begins. So you'll play through seven missions during the game, and then at the end whoever has the most points wins. And you'll get most of those points from playing your cubes on the board, either on the route spaces, the locations, or especially up in those planning areas for the resources for the mission. Yeah, so it's really important to try and get those favor tiles so you can do more than one action on your turn and trying to get those cubes on the board. But you have to be careful because you have a limited supply of cubes. Yeah, so those favorite tiles, the cards that go on them, they are randomized at the beginning of the game. There's tons of them, mm -hmm. so there's a lot of replayability. Some are definitely more helpful and beneficial than yes. others. They're more powerful. So you'll want to look for those, and there's probably going to be like a power struggle. Yeah, to, sought like, after and stolen. <laughs> right, so they're going to go back and forth a lot, but it, it is, really is important to get those so you have more options. Now I know this is just a prototype, but Ian O'Toole did a great job with the art. He also did the art for Lisboa, another game published by Eagle Griffin. The regions on the board are clearly defined and the design is well laid out. So there's definitely planning going on in the game and looking at what other 
players are doing and deciding, do I put my resources to try to help this current mission or am I looking ahead to a future mission? Well, you do have to be careful because someone could choose the other mission and send the Scarlet Pimpernel to a completely different side of the map. Yeah, but even if someone does d does do that and chooses a different side and your cubes are left on the board, there's a high probability that those cubes will be used later for another mission. Right. He might have to go through there at some point. Now, I personally really love the book, The Scarlet Pimpernel, and even the movies, so I was really interested to see how this game would play and if it would feel thematic. Now, it, it does have the missions, you know, you're trying to get disguises and horses and a cart and fake papers. I think that's really where it connects. Right, kind of the missions, but it's not the intrigue and how is is Chauvelin going to capture the Scarlet Pimpernel and all of that. Although there is yeah. a uh, variant you can add in with Chauvelin, who's going through the map and trying to get the Scarlet Pimpernel, and you have, um, you'll have you be penalized if you don't actually complete the missions. Mm -hmm. So if you like this idea of working together but still looking out for yourself, um, check out, and you can even pre-order a copy of the Scarlet Pimpernel on the Eagle Griffin Kickstarter page. Are you ready? Hey. Let's do it. Say it. Say it. I'm a big fan. There you go. You just wanted. I did. You just wanted.